Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is about the uh, ring alarm system. So we decided to go with uh, the ring alarm for our alarm needs. And um, one thing that always bugged me about the ring alarm is, well, I could certainly connect an ethernet cable to it to, to have it connect to the internet, which is nice. Uh, I still had the power brick and it would either go down the wall or you'd have to fish it down the wall and then have a hole drilled under your outlet to pop the cable through and stuff. It's just a big mess. So I saw a post on Reddit, how most things go, uh, about a guy who did it this way and I love it. So I'll show you what I did, copying him. First off, we have a power over ethernet line uh, coming in. Then we have this fun little box from TP-Link. It's a PoE splitter. Uh, it takes the PoE, uh, you know, takes the PoE in, and that splits it into a normal Ethernet signal and a um, DC power output. And it's actually got a, uh, is it over here? Is over here? It's over here. It's got a switch, so you can select uh, 12, 9, or 5 volts. So the ring alarm takes 5. 5 volts DC, that's what the normal power brick would, would give you. And then the, the TP-Link also comes with the spiral connector that fits the ring alarm. Uh, this is a second gen ring alarm perfectly. And then you just plug in normal ethernet and it's powered. So I can, what I did here was when I roughed this in, I roughed in a two gang, um, you know, uh, low voltage box, right? For this ethernet cable. And then I'll pack all this stuff in there and, you know, mount it on the wall like that. And it'll be nice and pretty. And, um, yeah, that's all I got. That was a cool idea uh, that I saw and figured I'd try it. And it works fabulously. So if you're doing a ring alarm and you're getting PoE in your network, I highly recommend doing something like this using a splitter. Um, this base station doesn't take a whole lot of current, so it's well within... Uh, the capabilities of PoE or PoE Plus. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.